हेलो एवरी वन माई सेल्फ प्रोफेसर तुषार गुजराती फ्रॉम एस एन डी कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एवला टूडे विल स्टडी एक्सपेरिमेंट नंबर थ्री फ्रॉम द सब्जेक्ट मेकाट्रॉनिक्स द नेम ऑफ एक्सपेरिमेंट इज एक्सपेरिमेंट ऑन मेजरमेंट ऑफ लोड यूजिंग सुटेबल सेंसर सो हियर वट इज द इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग वी हैव टू मेजर द लोड ओके सो ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ द एक्सपेरिमेंट वट इज ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ द एक्सपेरिमेंट टू स्टडी द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ लोड सेल एंड टू स्टडी स्ट्रेन गिच सो दीज आर बहुत आर रिलेटेड फेनामेना सो हियर वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी स्ट्रेन गेज एज वेल एज कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ लोड सेल दीज आर द ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ एक्सपेरिमेंट नाउ दिस इज द आउटकम ऑफ द एक्सपेरिमेंट सो द स्टूडेंट्स मस्ट बी एबल टू एक्सप्लेन इनपुट आउटपुट कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ लोड सेल सो यू शुड एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड द इनपुट वट इज इनपुट टू लोड सेल एंड वट यू गेट वट इज आउटपुट ऑफ द लोड सेल दिस कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स यू शुड अंडरस्टैंड प्रॉपरली सो दिस इज द आउटकम ऑफ द एक्सपेरिमेंट नाउ दिस इज द स्ट्रेन गेज डायग्राम सो वट इज स्ट्रेन गेज मेडअप ऑफ स्ट्रेन गेज कंसिस्ट ऑफ वायर वायर ऑफ मेटल ओके सो दैट मेटल वायर इज कॉल्ड एज गेज रेजिस्टेंस वायर्स सो हियर इट इज शोन सो दीज आर कॉल्ड एज गेज रेजिस्टेंस वायर्स सो ऑल दीज आर वायर्स ओके दे आर Wounded in the form of grid, okay? They are wounded in the form of grid. Wires are wounded something like this, okay? This is called as grid form. And two terminals are taken out, okay, for measurement. So these are two terminals which are taken out for measurement purpose. And these wires are supported by backing, gauge backing, okay? So on both the sides, top and bottom sides, it is protected with protective covering or backing. okay so this is called as strain gauge so what happens in strain gauge in case of strain gauge when we apply load this st this strain gauge gets elongated okay so here direction of strain is something like this it is shown already here direction of strain so if direction of strain it's along the strain gauge so what will happen this wires get stretched there is deformation of this wire occurs okay and because of this resistance of this wire changes okay so here you remember that as you apply force as you apply force there will be change in resistance so here force is directly proportional to change in resistance f is directly proportional to r okay because here as you apply force length also changes and because of that length changes resistance also changes okay so now this change in resistance is measured here in Wheatstone type bridge circuit. So this is Wheatstone type bridge circuit. So this bridge circuit has four arms: R1, R2, R3, and R4. And in the arm number four, in the arm number four, what is connected? Strain gauge is connected. Okay. So as this resistance changes, R. Okay. So there will be some change in voltage over here is observed. So as force is applied, resistance changes, and because of this, voltage produced also changes, and this. is indication of applied load okay so like this applied load is converted into voltage with the help of wheatstone type bridge circuit now this is the diagram of load cell so what happens in load cell load is converted into electrical signals that is load transducer so what happens load is converted into electrical signal with the help of load cell so this load cell consist of strain gauge okay so here in this diagram four load cells are connected sorry four strain gauges are connected suppose r1 r2 r3 and r4 so like this there are four strain gauges are connected and this all the four strain gauges are connected as a resistance in the wheatstone type bridge circuit r1 r2 r3 r4 okay and voltage produced is measured over here okay so like this construction of load cell so in the load cell strain gauges are used and force applied is converted into electrical signals okay so this is the load cell now here the something is shown over here what is here load is applied okay so when you apply load like cantilever beam on one side what happens the strain gauges some of the strain gauges are in compression this is compression this is also in compression and few of them are in tension and few of them are in tension okay so few strain gauges are in compression and few strain gauges are in tension 
so like this load cell works okay so those are in compression this compression strings are thicker and shorter but those are in tension those are thinner and longer so this difference you understand so what happens when the strain gauges are in compression they are thicker and shorter when are in tension they are thinner and longer so this is the load cell so suppose if we want to conduct the experiment based on load cell what we have to do we have to ensure that connections are proper and electronic display response gentle pressure at cantilever okay so we have to check first of all connections are proper next second point is adjust zero reading on display okay we have to adjust zero reading on display with empty pan hooked so we have to keep pan empty and there should be reading should be zero and measure bridge excitation voltage on dmm third point is measure bridge excitation voltage on dmm now fourth point is observe bridge output on dmm observe bridge output on dmm next it's place calibration weight in pan and observe the display reading place now calibration weight in pan and observe the display reading now we have to place the weights we have to observe the readings now keep on adding the weights and record the readings now we have to continuously keep on adding the weights okay and we have to record the readings and reverse the procedure by removing the weight one by one and again we have to reverse the procedure by removing weight one by one so let's discuss now now this is the strain gauge trainer okay so this is the kit of strain gauge trainer so this is one one of the type of cantilever beam is shown over here so this is entirely one cantilever beam okay which is fixed over here and we are going to apply load over here okay so like this we are going to fix the cantilever at one side and load is applied on one side okay so here in this diagram strain gauges are placed as i told you four strain gauges one is here one is here three and four so strain gauges are placed here two above and two below okay so like this it is provided and what is our first step we have to keep this reading at zero 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 because if load is not applied if there is no load applied then reading should be zero okay but zero load reading should be zero okay so here you can see this uh, whetstone type bridge circuit is shown okay here in this diagram whetstone type bridge circuit is here so here connections are made from this point input is given to this circuit and from this we get output and which is output is displayed on the circuit okay so like this construction is there so reading number one we have to apply weight 50 grams so we are applying here weight 50 grams and we have to note down the reading so reading is 113 and unit of this reading is micro strains okay so reading is in micro strains load is in grams and this is output is in micro strain okay so like this this is first reading now second reading weight is 100 grams and reading is 230 we have increased weight and note down this reading okay so likewise we have to increase the weights reading number three weight is increased 150 grams and output reading is 344 next we have increased weight up to 200 grams and output is 462 and last reading is weight 250 grams we have to again note down the reading of strain that is micro strain output is in micro strain okay so like this we have note down the readings and we have to write down the readings in this observation table okay so we have to write weight in grams like 50 100 150 200 and 250 grams we have to enter the weight and we have to note down the output that is micro strain output is in micro strain this we have to note down now from this we have to write down the graph we have to plot the graph so on x axis there should be weight weight in grams and on y axis there should be output that is micro strain so usually when you plot the graph the graph should be linear one you get linear graph so here on x axis it is weight and on y axis it is strain okay on y axis you will get strain so usually you get the graph linear for this setup okay so conclusion is from graph it is found that the input output characteristics of the load cell is linear 
so you get input output characteristic of load cell as a linear and how will you calculate sensitivity of the load cell it is change in output upon change in load so what is change in output it is in micro strain change in micro strain divided by change in load that is input so like this conclusion is made from this experiment so thank you so much all of you for watching this video in this experiment we studied about load cell okay thank you so much